My name is Meets Meyer. I'm a 3D artist and animator. For the last 12 years, I've been working as a freelance artist, a video game artist, a illustrator, and I've worked on feature films. My artwork is usually described as a lot of very, very fine details that come together and make up a larger final piece of the whole. And so anytime I have any kind of normal um, thing like a face, it's always going to be described with a lot of different intermingling wires and a lot of fine details and everywhere you look kind of something different and it usually allows you to look at it several times and kind of make up your own story about what's going on inside. Now that the power of ZBrush has erased a lot of the technical problems that a lot of the art artists faced before, it's really going to change the industry because now it really comes down to talent. It's not what you know, it's what you do, what you can do, and what you can think of, and what you can dream. ZBrush makes it fun to sculpt digitally. It makes it interesting. It kind of pushes you because you can, it allows you to try so many different things in such a short period of time that it'll just open up so many different possibilities. My digital art piece, The Apple, was created almost 100% just using the primitives inside of ZBrush. Uh, ZBrush allows you to take a primitive, such as a sphere or a cube, and insert amazing amounts of details while still remaining its primitive status. People that have you know, trained their whole lives and focused on sculpting and focused on painting models, things like that, they can jump into ZBrush quite easily and feel at home. In fact, I think they'll feel empowered. They can do much more than they can in the real world, in the digital world.